In today's video, we're going to be attempting to not make the terminal as scary to use for you. And if you are a beginner and you found this, this is the guide for you, okay? This is going to be teaching you simple basic commands to help you in the future if you decide to jump in the terminal and start learning it like you should. Because troubleshooting, when everything goes wrong, you don't have a desktop environment, you're stuck with the terminal and learning to use it, it's very simple. It's very easy. It's just basic commands. And they're all short form commands too, so it makes life a little bit easier. So we're going to start with ls today, and we're also going to go through at least 10 commands, but ls is the first one. So ls tells you everything within your current document. So if we go and cd into music, oh, we have to do capitals, don't we? And we do ls there you'll notice that there's music in there and it lists off the folders in blue the actual files in green now that really does help and it makes life really easy so what else can we do well there's ls-l that basically tells you all the reads and write permissions the day that they were created and so on and so forth and then there's dash a which shows you hidden folders and files isn't that cool and of course there's lh which is human readable sizes and stuff like that so yeah 108 megabytes 4.0 k uh it's not you know exactly perfect but yeah there's your ls command and i hope it serves you well because it's definitely served me well. So the next one that I guess we should take a look at is the CD command, because this one is also very, very important for getting around in your desktop environment in the terminal itself. So let's say we want to travel to CD slash user. Okay, that's it. CD slash user. Enter. We LS. You can see everything that's in there. And then if we ls-l, we can see everything that's been created. Isn't that nifty? But if we want to say, you know, cd, cc everything inside of our home folder, we go, we're going to ls. As you can see, that's not everything. It's never everything. So let's go back to what we learned before with ls. How do we see hidden folders? ls dash a ah i messed it up so now you can see dot steam dot themes dot nv dot local dot cache dot config and there you go so now we can go in to dot config and ls that as well isn't that interesting so that's how you can get around inside your system there's also cd slash user press s press tab press tab again i need to mute that dinging sound i apologize for that and it will show you the multiple different directories that you can go into so we can go into sbin we get ls that shows you everything that's in there these commands are not going to screw up your system you only can mess up your system if you start deleting things or writing files that should not be there. But then again, those files that you're writing in there are not going to exactly be read by the system unless they're told to. So there's not really much you could do to screw up your system if you're just looking around. Now, print work directory or PWD. Okay, so if we do PWD. <laughs> ah, my brain these days. It tells you the directory we're in. Okay. And let's say we go here, share applications, PWD, and then it shows you where you are. This command is not really as useful as you think it is. I mean, it shows you where you are, but then again, you already kind of know where you are because it says applications. And you can configure Bash to show you this in many different ways, even by default. Uh, using oh my posh and its themes as well as cfs i think cfs C -H -C -A -Z -S -H? something like that or using the oh so horrible fish so we're gonna go and type cd 
because we're not done with CD at all. So if we just type CD, it brings us back into our home folder. So again, PWD. And if we type CD dash dash, that's going to bring us into our home folder directly. So the, the, the folder called home. So now we're not in slash home slash mat. We're in slash home. So we're in a directory beforehand. So that's what the dot dot does. How far can we take it? Well, that's pretty much it. And we can also do that. That does really nothing. <laughs> that's also fun. So there's another thing. You can just do CD tilde key. And that just brings you back into your home directory. And if you need it to, we can actually do this. Now, this right here allows you to do another command. And look at that. We have just entered in to slash temp, and then we ran the command ls-l. We have a total of eight things. And as you can see, you can just take commands and you can layer them up. It's pretty nice. Okay. Ooh, the next one's a bit difficult. Yeah. This one, you can copy files around your system. I'm kidding. It's not difficult at all. So uh, let's ls something. What do we got? What do we got? We got a movie. Okay. So this is the CP command. All right. And if you're just moving files around inside your home directory, you're not going to need to run sudo. But if we do S and we want to place this here. You're going to be annoying today, aren't you? There we go. If we want to take this clip, okay, and we want to put this in videos, clips, we can. That way it's not in our home folder. And this is really, really easy to do. You can also use it to copy an entire directory if you want. So let's say we wanted to copy the Windows 11 thing. So copy dash R, Win 11. I really hate that their system sounds. And we want it to put this in videos. We could do that. And that way, the entire directory itself has been copied elsewhere. Okay. All right. So you can also copy multiple files. So if we wanted to, we could actually go back to this. Just like that. And... Well, files, I guess. Mm, actually, see, we don't have multiple files in here. That's the thing. We would have to go to where the multiple files are. So let's go to pictures. Again, capital P. Yep, I need to disable system sounds. One second. This is driving me nuts. I don't like the sound of that at all. It's ding, 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 ding every time you mess up. And it's like, thanks. Thanks for letting me know that, dick. I hate it. All right, so in here, we have tons of files. Tons of them, okay? And uh, this is just stuff I carry on from distro to distro to distro when I'm messing around. Say we wanted to copy the Zorin OS meme I made and the Windows PNG and the ubuntu png we wanted to put this into slash home slash uh videos oh my bad 1909 slash videos you do that all at once is done now if we go in here and we go into videos and you take a look there's all three of the memes ready and willing to go and actually go delete all that so there you go now it's pretty much the same thing with move instead of the cp command okay we would be directly moving everything to that location instead of copying it and what I mean by it's exactly the same, it is literally exactly the same, okay? You could also do different things where you can move all PNGs and all JPEGs into a single thing. So, uh, you know what? Let's do that. Make der JPEG. 
Okay. And if we wanted to, we could move all dot JPEG into slash JPEG. Die. Okay. And if I go into pictures and we go into JPEG, the two JPEGs are officially moved. So if I wanted to clean this up again, do the same thing, but this time we do PNG. That way if we head into here, you'll notice there's a PNG folder. And inside are all the PNGs, and now all of this is cleaned up. But there's still JPG to go. So, go back. Do that there. Okay. And, WebP. Like that. Then we could basically do this. Okay, so we've moved all JPEGs, all JPGs, all WebWPs, all PNGs out of that folder into their own. Uh, pretty much just leaving all of this stuff here. And then there's a capital JPG, uh, JPG. But yeah, look at that. All nice and tidy now, isn't it? Isn't that great? So there's your move. Fold, there's your move in a nutshell. And if we want it to, well, we're going to have to continue this in the next video because 11 minutes is enough to spend on this. Next time, we're going to be covering removing files, touching files. I know that sounds weird. Don't worry. We're not priesting them. Uh, catting files, grepping, and giving permissions, taking away permissions, and stuff like that. If this video helped you, if it made you less scared of the terminal, let me know in the comment section below. Check the pinned comment if you want to help support me. Currently going through some things. The first pinned comment will let you know everything. And I will see you guys in the next video. This is going to turn into an entire playlist. So we got a ways way to go.